Since 2004, podcasts have infiltrated the innocent ears of the world. With over 2.5 million podcasts listed on Apple, only 450,000 are still active, leaving massive digital waste upon the world wide web. With more than 80% of podcast listeners spending upwards of seven hours a week feeding their addiction, can this unsustainable pastime be overcome? Or is there something much, much darker at play? Podcasts, innocent entertainment, are the harbingers of the hard times yet to come. The Biofriendly Podcast. We're the, we're the problem. We're, we're one of the problems. One of the problems. Of millions of problems. Two million problems. Two million Only 400,000 of the problems remain. Yeah, 2.5 million, 2. I guess. 2.5 million problems, yes, yeah. only 100. Yeah, what the <laughs> hell have you guys done to my office? You got the memo. Of course I got the. Of course I got the memo. No, did you not read the memo? Yeah, no, I did. I, don't I did. Think, I got the memo. I don't think you, you read it's, that. Uh, it's uh, I have people who read the memos to me. I don't actually read the memos. I have, but I've but I, and I've been read a lot of memos. This is written by your very own Jacob Givens, who actually reads you most your of my memos. memos. Yeah. So Veronica or Jacob yeah. reads me most of the memos. Yeah, I don't so actually like when any I, other people come into my office. It gets me a little bit. I wrote touchy. this memo and I read it to him, and he the whole time pretended to listen to me. But I'm beginning to feel like he wasn't listening at all, Clayton. And that hurts. I think that's what really cuts the deepest here. We used to have a couch. We did used to have a couch. And that's also included in the memo. So let me just... He didn't read the memo. He didn't read the memo. Okay, so there's no couch for those of you just listening. Okay. I'm going to get into this subject right now. Okay. Because it's time. I'm going to peel this band-aid right off. We had board meetings about this, This has been discussed. Who's bored? Ad nauseum. Well, I was pretty (laughs) bored during these meetings, but I'm just saying... This is very true. We had meetings about this very subject. I was incredibly bored. Jake was like on fire about this subject at... Even while being bored. And yes. I was in the room. You were in the room. You were there. I was and present. You, uh, well, you were on your phone. Where? You were. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay. So, so here we go. This is the time that I was on my phone in the office and you guys said, make sure you're paying attention. 100%. Yes. And but I said, I'm paying attention. Yeah. Where the heck is Veronica, by and the way? She's, yeah. not, she's in an important uh, call. She's not even. The- oh. So this, this is, is probably why we're the most doing this breaking episode. And this is why we're talking about it right now. And we're glad that the, those of you who've been with us for so many years, it's just, it's, we gotta, we gotta rip this bandaid off and talk about the, the elephant in the room. Okay. Right. So I'm going to get into it right now. Okay. Get it. Get I have right here, the top six reasons podcasts are unsustainable. Podcasts are unsustainable. Number five will shock you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm. Re- I feel like we're reaching for a topic. Did we? Did we cover everything? Yes. <sighs> yes. We did. I think yeah. we reached the end of the internet. Yeah. We yeah. covered all okay. the environmental topics, and yeah, now we're talking much. about. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Here we so go. We're, are we seriously talking about how podcasts yes, are, unsus- are unsustainable? They are. Like Jake spent no. weeks doing this research. Number. This one. was in the memo. This number, was in the memo. Number one. Where's my couch? Oh, that was also in the memo. Yeah. And it is no longer with us. Yeah. Veronica even is popping out to say, "You read the memo, right?" Did Veronica? you read the memo? I did. Yes, okay, Veronica read the memo. So you <laughs> yes. know where the couch is. Yes. You know why there's a wall here. Yes. You, you do. Yes. Okay. So the only person here who doesn't know about what is going on is the CEO of the why company. Why doesn't anybody tell me what's happening in this company? We did. You know I was on the phone. That's true. You were on the phone. Okay. Number one. And what are we covering again, Jacob? The top six reasons podcasts are unsustainable. Number five will shock you. <laughs> Brought to you by BuzzFeed. I have to throw that in there every time. I, I'm, I'm prepared to be okay. shocked by number okay. five. I can't even believe this is happening. Okay, podcast number one. Uh, this is our topic. Are we ready for number one? Yes. We are set. Tell okay. us number one. Number one, podcasts make smartphone users charge their devices more. We're talking hours of daily unnecessary energy consumption. Hours. 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 This is shocking. What? Shocking. <sighs> we are breaking this story right what now. What percentage? Breaking can I, I don't want to know that they spent hours. Hours listening to podcasts, so they're using more battery. I want to know how much battery are they wasting by listening to the podcast? Exactly. Exactly. That's the okay. question we're here to ask. Okay. Number two. We're not here to answer. <laughs> we're just number here two. to agree we're with that question. Why are podcasts okay. unsustainable? Okay, ready? Yes. With the influx, number two. With the number influx. Two. We're not at five yet. because no. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Let me put up the number two graphic. Sh- Sorry. And wow. there's the number two graphic. That was okay. a good graphic. Right? With wow. the That's influx the of new podcasters during the pandemic. Yes. And the fact that none of them still want to even do it. Yeah. 
It means that there's discarded podcast gear everywhere. Everywhere. Landfills. Landfills. Waste baskets. Waste baskets. Your you mom's basement. Your mom's basement. Thank you. Have we done any research into like seeing how many of these people just use that gear for other stuff or used gear they already had for like when they're banned? Or, didn't like, read the memo. How, didn't read the memo. There was facts in the memo, Noel. This okay, is Okay, then probably, give me the facts. You need We're to... We're doing a podcast We now. shredded the they, memo, dude, Noel. <laughs> that cannot get out. Number three. <laughs> Number three. 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 Wow, that's a good. That was actually pretty graphic. That, yeah, one, that was, was the best good, one. Yeah. It was more peaceful yeah. that one. There's a huge number three. There's yeah. a huge uptick in the burning of fossil fuels from all the cars idling in their own driveways as podcasters listen to finish their episodes before going in the house, and that's just not cool. <laughs> that is what? just not cool. What not cool. percentage of people are doing that? All of them. They can't seem to turn off the podcast and their car is running. Where's my couch? Okay. (laughs) Running your car in the driveway, it's not cool. And speaking of cool, number four. Number four. (laughs) Four. I'll give you the graphic, but I don't know what are we doing. The energy used to cool down all the podcast servers in the world with their kajillions of petabytes is completely ludicrous. Jacob. Ludicrous, Noel. How we many? even interviewed Ludicrous about this point. <laughs> we did, and he said. And what did Chris Ludicrous Bridges say? Get down! I ain't got nothing to lose, and I'm having a bad day. No, maybe take it out on you. And that's what he said. That's what he said, Noel. Did he have a good point? <laughs> I don't think it was related to the topic, but it was a great point in general. <laughs> well, we appreciated the soundbite, um, Ludicrous. I, so, thank you, Ludicrous. So, yeah, thank you, Chris. Good friend of the show. <laughs> yeah, good, good friend um, of the show. Uh, yeah, yeah, that last one. Um, yeah, yeah. I, the kajillions of petabytes. Yeah, can you tell me how many? How much is it is in a kajillion exactly? Yeah, we we have all the data on kajillions of petabytes, and I think it's uh, it's this number. Close. Is Close. it this number? <laughs> uh, a little too much. Okay. Okay. How about for, okay, that that number? Is it that one? Uh, somewhere it's between. almost there. Oh, okay. Almost okay. there. So, are so you somewhere between an, those three numbers. Are you telling me it's an indefinite number that you guys don't actually know and you made this up? Oh. No. No. <laughs> Somebody here doesn't read. No. <laughs> I was on the phone. <laughs> no. No. Where's my couch? You worked with me for 200 years. Do I make up information just for the show? No, that's why this is so surprising. It You're is very, very accurate. Well, and I'm You spend time researching. I know, I know. You actually spend a lot. Of, this seems like you guys are just making stuff up so that you no. can t- t- tie my couch. No, here's the thing. Here's the thing. We've, we've arrived at number five. Oh, this is gonna, sh- <laughs> this is gonna shock. This us. is the shocking one. Okay, okay. Be- hold. I prepared to be shocked. Hold on. Wait, wait. Did we get the graphic for five? Okay. Five. Probably the best. The best so one far. ever. I can see why this. Now I, I'm shocked by the graphic. Okay. Environmental podcasts that spend more time joking around than stating the doom and gloom facts. <laughs> For those of you who do not see during a podcast, Noel is choking on his coffee. Noel just spit out his water. <laughs> well, oh, I almost ruined this. Uh, uh, I don't know what this is. is. <laughs> whatever this is. Uh, but that is that is shocking. It's shocking that is isn't? shocking. So you're telling me that specifically podcast and now with any environmental podcast, yeah, that have been on for 200 years or yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes the adventures spend podcast. too much time joking around, and they should be talking about the doom and gloom facts so that everybody can be scared. So you're, that is shocking. That's shocking. Isn't that it? is. I'll give you. That's the most. That, that's I'm, the most <laughs> shocking. Five that's shocked. why I said number five will shock. It has shocked me. Um, so basically, by not spending the time focusing on the doom and gloom, we're not telling people enough about the doom and gloom. Therefore, they're not learning about the environment, so it's bad for the environment. And we're spending too much time joking instead of getting things done, wasting precious kajillions of petabytes of data, yeah. time in a garage, yeah, so on and so yeah. How are people supposed to learn if they're not afraid and freaking out over the facts? I, uh, <clears throat> Learning comes from fear, Noel. I don't know... Why we're doing this topic. Okay. Well, we're well, about to wrap this up at number six. Number six. Here it goes. Noise pollution. Many listeners keep their addiction to themselves by keeping the noise in their own earbuds. But more often than not, podcast listeners blare those vapid, opinionated diatribes out in public. What? what? We're in the middle of a podcast? Yeah. No, this isn't. All right. Here, put this there. Hold on a second. No, just keep going. Only fine. It's fine. I, as you can see, I'm just talking about noise. Veronica, pollution. can you help with the? 
Could somebody help? We've got people. What are you guys doing? Well, Did you, you not? He didn't read the memo. What? Yeah, didn't read the memo. Contracted to move this set. For those of you who only listen to the show and don't don't watch, we have two uh, strong men who just came in here with they've got those worker vests on. And they're um, they're about to remove the biofilm sign from behind us. That's the company Just, sign. No, we don't want it to break because it will probably go into Noel's garage for about the next you know, 20, 25 minutes. We got this. Okay, good. Professionals. I don't have a garage. Yeah. Well, I filled it with stuff. You yeah. know, cars. It's it's. it's I, I got to be honest, Noel. Uh, I just couldn't participate in uh, the unsustainability of podcasts anymore. And so this is the last time, it's the last time anyone will ever see the Biofriendly podcast. What? Okay, what happened to the light? No. What happened to the... What the hell is going on? Yeah. Did you not read... You knew about this? Mm -hmm. Why didn't... I'm sorry, buddy. I tried to make it clear. Did you read him the or did you not read him? No. No, you're not really no. Wow, that's, that's her fault. Don't yeah. We didn't pull down the biofriendly podcast sign. We pulled down the biofriendly sign. You didn't break that sign, did you? No, no, no. Oh, and little glue fixed that right up. Yep, yeah, that's now broken. Uh, yeah. So, so by the way, this is just to tell our audience at home we were just having a little bit of fun. There is a new show coming. Well, thank God. Yeah. So. We are revamping, overhauling, redoing, and bringing back a brand new podcast. We're absolutely just having a laugh with the unsustainability of podcasts because they are more than enough sustainability in the world for podcasts. So we are coming back with a brand new show. We're not going to tell the audience what the name of that show is yet, but it will be new. Are we going to tell me what the name of the show is? I'll send it to you in a memo. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to being on my yeah. phone. Until it launches, we'll definitely be dropping some fun little biofriendly podcasts for your ears only until the uh, the new show Shocking. arrives. Yeah. Oh, there we go. So with that, that light is a lot brighter when it's close. It like really that. is. It's, it's a, really, really bright. overwhelming. So I'd say we should probably just say our goodbyes <laughs> right now so that we can uh, that's it. come back. Yeah, that's it. That's the show. That's, that's the show. That's the show. Buddy. That's yeah. all. That's all the audience gets. The last episode of Biofriendly Podcast was that. Yeah. Okay, no. Actually, to tell the truth, though, we will be doing the set. Actually, yeah. hold on one one quick sec, guys. What? Hey, what? guys, can you actually throw that behind me real fast? Throw the, it really the boss quick. Boss wants to see something. Really quick, how that yeah. how that looks. Wait a minute. This is this was in the memo. That was, that was in the memo. Yeah, I got the memo. Look at you got you got the memo. Dude, Bruce got the memo. Uh, I'll bring it back. Let's guys, put this away and I'll get in the memo. What do you guys, think? guys, wait, 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 wait. Guys, that. F***s. <laughs> oh, that looks good. Yeah, it does. So that's the whole wall's gonna look like that. Yeah. No, just this one. <laughs> well, the design needs work, but I, I yeah. think that we got some potential. Gosh darn it. Yeah, we're going to need this table pretty okay. soon, so... Okay, we got to wrap this up. Okay, okay. well, right, yeah, let me fair. just pick up the microphone, yeah, I guess. Okay, there we go. Uh, can okay. someone take okay. Jacob's uh, yeah. Well... I'm so glad I wore pants on this Wednesday, <laughs> this episode. I feel moderately <laughs> exposed. You're going to need to take the chair? Okay, that's fine. Uh, that's excellent. This we have been your what? beacon of light. This isn't. This in isn't a gloomy my environment. This isn't. This is my. Cha- it's not. This isn't the. Cup, this is my chair. This is. That's not. A beacon of light. I, it's from my office. In a gloomy environment. Science without the stiffness. Gas are flagging since 2023. Uh, we're not even doing the tags right. We're trying. Oh, Bringing shit. you top quality oh, content. Hey, we were anyway. For, for 200 years. Science without the, the stiffness. Uh, it used to be green without the groaning. Inspiring fear and love. This show is really about patience. Careful, you'll catch feelings. I, this is so very soon. Is it just that we're there already? I think we're there, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, uh, Corn Dog Rogers and Kerosene Guy have had a lifelong battle in my head. Not a lights are off. Okay, um... Uh, I'm gonna need that pop filter. What, what I the, can't, they can't see us on the... On what, the what, what's the... What's the relax one, Ronnie? Yeah. 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 On the show, we'll turn your enemies into friends. And your friends into friends. Yeah, um... I... I don't... Veronica. Oh, we lost it. I was mine. I got the, it's, 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 the show is about... Guys, we're not even rolling on audio anymore. From the focus right. no, we're not... Please stand by. We are experiencing some technical difficulties. Please stand by. We are experiencing some technical difficulties. Please stand by. 
we are experiencing some technical difficulties.